Okay, guys, in today's video, we got a 2021 Affinity, uh, as you can see, QX50. I did the rear brake pass on rotors. This is electrical caliper, so I'm going to show you guys how to compress this baby right here. So, very simple and easy. Just pay attention and you will know how to do that. Uh, tools we're going to need is, uh, we're going to do the complete brake job and then also uh, we got pads and rotors. So to compress this piston there, you need some tools. Um, I have a four, uh, T45, got a compressed tool here. You could have a C-clamp, but C-clamp might not, so it's no C-clamp. You need a tool like such as that, or you could just squeeze it with your hand. Um, white grip, 13 millimeter, a pick. I'm missing one more tool from the other side. Did I bring it here? Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, I'm missing a few tools. Okay, 19 millimeter, and we're gonna take all this stuff to the other side. So we got, uh, I'm sorry, 19 millimeter, we got a wire brush, and this is another tool you're going to need. This is a T27, okay, Torque 27. So that's everything you're going to need there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this baby apart so this vehicle is shaking. So as you can see, there's a lot of markings on this. We're going to do the front too, so you have a video coming up on the front. Look at that. Look at the marking. That's why this guy's uh, brakes are, uh, sh car shakes. When you press brake, look at the spot, the hot spots. That is called the hot spot right there. So every time when it spit, this thing is rotating at 60,000 RPM, whatever the speed you're going, bam, 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 and the car shakes serious amount. So if you guys have that issue, if your car shakes, that is a hot spot right there. So this is where the rotor is rubbing. So this is, is you can't see it by eye, but micromillimeter, this is thicker. It's more, uh, whatever. You guys got the point there. Anyways, same thing in the back. So we got some pads here. We got every go brake pads right here. So this is what we're looking at right here. And uh, we got Ekibono. I'm sorry. We got uh, Bacarli True Premium Metal Waters part number. This is for the rear. If you want to get the front ones, there's the front ones, the waters in here. And we got the brake pads for the front here. There you go. And that's the part number for evolutions so in here you got nice looking water in here okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna start this job by dismantling the whole thing enough of a talk let's start doing okay to start this job what you want to do is you want to use a pick i'm gonna take this camera really down there and my light so we can all see so you want to take this pick you want to pick this uh connector right here and this connector should easily come off it's already moved out of the way a little bit and Try not to grab the wiring to pull it, but it went back in. So we're gonna pick it one more time. And this thing should just simply go back. Can we leave that stuck there? And let's pull it off. So wiggle it a bit if you need to. So it is kind of tough to take this off. I just don't want to break it. Okay, you don't want to break nothing here. There you go. Over time, corrosion a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this 13 millimeter up here, not the bottom one. Uh, we'll be able to slide this caliper out. Then we got two 19s down here, one here, and one all the way down. So that's all I'm going to be taking out. Okay, so uh, one thing, take, turn off your brakes, okay? You see my brakes are on, so that's step number one. Okay, when you're inside the vehicle, before you lift it, turn off the brakes. So if this thing is going to spin with it. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab this with our vice grip here. No wrenches fit in there. You need a very skinny wrench in there. Okay, there you go. And I'm gonna have to adjust this guy a little bit. Got the other side pretty easy, but they put thread locking on this. So it's giving kind of trouble here. So it's coming off. 13 millimeters is coming off. There you go. Whoops. All right, so this guy is off. There you go. And this is what it looked like. I got the blue thread lock on it. Anyways, so once you do this, you should be able to push this caliper forward and take out the slider pins boot. And you should be able to take out this caliper 
and simply just put it up on the top here. So we're going to continue removing these brake pads. So I want to talk a little bit about these brake pads before we put them away so you can pay attention. Keep them before you throw before you're done. So as you can see, this one, the outside brake pad has two notches just like that. So pay attention to that. Those two notches uh, inside brake pad is going to be a little bit different. Okay, there you go. So the inside brake pad has this brake wear indicator sensor. So since we took it off on that back, it was on the top. So make sure that, because if you switch it around, these brake tools are going to come with two pads like that. So if you put it on the wrong spot, it will become in the bottom. And this one has three notches, okay? This little notch goes into the caliper's piston's uh, little slot. So you can't twist the piston either there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get our 19 millimeter. And I need to go counterclockwise. So I need to go up. I believe so. Okay, I don't have a good angle with the camera in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, I don't have any angle with the camera in front of me. Okay, I'll do it that way. Once it's loose, I should be able to do it from up here. There you go, one, and two. Once they're loose, so let's take the camera in. Let's see what it's loosened up. Okay. It's kind of tough to record, but I like doing this. So this is what we taking off in here. So this is the one, and you could just let it hang over here, okay? You got a washer in there, so make sure that washer stays with it. So once it's loose, your bracket's gonna move. Now I'm gonna need both hands, so we're gonna have to put the camera down. So this is the second bolt that I'm turning here, right down here. And we're gonna put the camera back. So once this comes off, Okay, there you go once this guy comes off everything is out and it should be looking at you um this bracket is out the slider pin is good um we're gonna have to you're probably gonna need a hammer but these came out pretty easy just hit the hammer all right so we're looking good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prime a little bit here we're gonna take our wire brush clean this up okay i'm gonna take a little bit of cleaner Horse cleaner, clean it off. Okay, that's enough said, but I don't have my grease here. Let me go and look on the other side. So we're gonna put a little bit of greasing here, but prior to that, uh, let's prep our bracket here. So bracket, uh, I always recommend reuse the same hardware, just clean it off very well, and don't go crazy with these little pins in the middle. Just try to make a small motion movement back and forth. Um, if they're not broken, I wouldn't suggest you change it, it's all up to you, but if you watch the comments in my other videos, you will tell, you will know how customers feel about that, because some customers did change them, and they had issues afterwards, so something that's not touching, rubbing, it's not rusted, corroded. Don't mess with it. That's that. Okay, it's time for us to uh, take care of the caliper next. So this is a very critical part. Okay, so you don't want to damage anything. I keep touching that part of the caliper. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get our tool. So I got my tool ready here. Okay, One moment. Switching up the battery. So you can use a ratchet, but I use my electric drill here. So what we're gonna do here is, let me turn this baby around. Make sure your connector comes across this pin once you're done, uh, once everything's going back together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy off. Once that bolt come off, there's one on the opposite side. Let's take that off. I'm not using no scan tools here to activate these. Okay, they're just dummies. That's what these are. Okay, so after that, what you wanna do is you wanna just wiggle, wiggle. You could do a little bit of twisting motion, it's fine. But there's our 
actuator. If you need to replace this, that's how you're gonna replace it, but we're just doing the brakes. So, I'm gonna put this baby inside. Okay, now, to compress this piston, just clean this up as much as you can. Uh, you don't have to go crazy with it. But to compress this piston, you need this T45. You're gonna put this in the back. Okay, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, don't, I dropped it. T45 fits well in here. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna put my caliper tool in here. I'm trying to managing this with the one hand. So this piston is not gonna compress unless, oh man, I need my third hand. This is when I need my third hand. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to turn it, okay? Just see if, if you can't turn it, that means you're going the wrong way. Try to turn the other way. Let me see if the camera can see. Yeah, so all I'm doing is turning the rear key there and you should be able to press that piston. So don't put force on it because then you can't twist, okay? Just give it time, turn like two, three turns, push. One, two, three, it's like quarter of a turn. One, two, three, push. 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 And then once it bottoms out, you're all done. And we're gonna kick off our tool here. So this is what we use at the end. So let me just show you what I did. All I'm doing was put this in here and all I did was turn this, okay? You're just gonna have to figure out, is it clockwise or kind of like One direction is gonna try to come out. The other direction is gonna let you compress. Okay, so. Uh, remember, we're gonna put this baby back, okay? To put this baby back in, remember, the connector where it comes, so you might have to find that spot. You can put that in. Once it clips in, you should be able to twist. You can twist it. There's no problem for you to twist it. Just don't go crazy. Just enough twist so you can line the two bolts. So we're going to get these two little bolts. If they don't line, I'm going to turn a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn a little bit more. There you go. That's one. Let me get the other side. Uh, same thing, I'm going to put the second one in. Make sure you catch the threads, okay? The key here is to catch the threads first. But once you catch the threads, then we can get our electric little drill. So go slow, okay? You don't want to jam this thing in. Do one side, just kind of snug it, and then go the other side. One. That's two. Okay, now I'm tightening this baby up. And that's it. This thing is like a $700 piece, so you don't want to mess with it. Anyway, that's done deal. We're going to come back down a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to use this silicone grease. I want to put a little bit on this hub so our rotor can sit flush. And we did clean it with the wire brush and make it nice and clean. And there you have it. Time to get the waters. Here's our waters. What we're gonna do is get this bag out of here. So this thing has oil on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this baby. Some parts cleaner. Clean rag. There you go, perfect. Same thing on the inside, outside. Nice and clean. Bada bing. Bada boom. There you have it. We'll take this rotor onto the vehicle and smack that baby on. We're gonna put a lug nut here so it can assist us to hold it in spot. There you go. Perfect. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, now that is done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bracket. And remember the two bolts. Okay, see if I can get my hand in there. Two big bolts that were just sitting there. That's, that was these big looking bolts there. We're gonna get those babies in. And there you have it. They're snugged in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock them up with my wrench with my 19 millimeter. That's what they are, 19 millimeter back there. So that's a big wrench we have here. Okay, there you go. Okay, 
There you go. We got that in. And there you go. It's nice and tight. Make sure to double check your work. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, next step. So we're gonna get our brake pads. Here's our brake pads. Okay. Um, this is what everything looked like. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some greasing. So this is the grease I use. This it's a high temperature CRC grease. So I use my finger usually on these. And I like to put a little bit of greasing on the tips here so it can slide better. If your, if your uh, pad doesn't slide good, uh, if it's hard to put in, you might have to file it a bit, okay? But make sure you got a good amount of greasing here. Nothing crazy either. Okay. Clean your hands off so you don't touch anything. So I'm gonna put this pad in the inside. Remember the inside pad has three snot notches like that. So this thing goes in just like that. You gotta work some magic there to get that pad in. So I'm gonna have to go down in the bottom to get that pad. Sorry. So what I'll do here is it's a trick to getting this guy in. There you go. I got the inside pad in. So the trick here is. You put one side in, okay, you see how the shape is, that's how it's got to go, okay, just pay attention to your old brake pad. So the trick here is to go around this little guy, and once you're in there, bada bing, bada boom, and they should be freely moving like that, okay. So next step, I like to put a little bit of greasing on these, and a little bit here, okay, all right, so. The final step, we're going to remove the slider pin. The slider pin, remember, one with the bushing goes on the top. Clean that out. We're going to put some silicone grease on this guy. I have to push the grease down a bit. Okay, so I'm looking for some tools here. This knife will do the magic job here. So what you want to do is, you want to clean this out and put new grease. Just a tiny bit, and oh, the wrong spot. This is where this goes. So do the same thing with this second slider pin here. Clean it off. And put some greasing in here. There you go, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Uh, just a few more steps. Put the bottom slider pin in, make sure the boot clips in, make sure the top goes in. Okay, I, I know a lot of people done my watching my videos breaks, but make sure, make sure that connector in the bottom goes in. Make sure, make sure it clicks, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna tighten this baby right here first before we go any further. Cause if you start the car and it doesn't recognize, you're gonna have brake light, all kinds of light, and then you're gonna have to go to the dealer to reset it. Anyways, bada bing, bada boom, this is nice and tight. We're done here. Uh, let's put this baby in, and it clicks right in, okay? And your caliper is nice and snugged in there, your brake pads in there, all done, guys. Thank you for watching my video. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. After you did all your brakes, pop your brake pedal several times. Then put your parking brake on, off, on, off a few times, and then everything should be smooth. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.